Okay, we are going to work on moving a subject from a green screen onto a new background. So open up your background. This one is a horizontal 10 by 8 and my subject is an 8 by 10. So I'm going to crop the background to match the subject in this case. Grab your crop tool and set your crop dimensions 8 by 10. 300 to match your subject. And then grab the magic wand tool. Go to your subject on the green screen. Make sure your contiguous is not checked. And I like to start about 55 for my tolerance and click as close to the subject as you can to get all the green that you can. Okay, and then go up to select inverse and grab your move tool and move your subject over to the new background. Now I'm going to add a border I like to drag my border over from the layers menu. It's easier. And then you can adjust it, move it around with your up and down, left and right arrows. And from here, I'm going to double click on the border to add some color. So click on color. Click in the red square to change the color. And I like to click in the background to find a nice complementary color. That looks good. OK. And click OK. And adjust your border a little bit more. And you're done. And then from here, you want to flatten your layer image and then save it as um, your final picture. The next one is an 8 by 10 and your subject is also an 8 by 10 so just make sure that the the subject size and the background size are the same and then grab your magic wand tool Click in the green and then select inverse, move tool, grab your subject and move them over to the new background. Close, save changes, no. Now from here we're going to add a drop shadow to the subject. So double click on the subject and click on drop shadow. And you want the shadow over here, since the light is coming in this direction. So adjust your shadow accordingly. And the distance, I want it to be as far to the left as I can. So I'm just going to type in around a thousand. And that'll put it off to the left quite a ways. Adjust it, fine tune it a little bit. And blur it just a little bit. OK. Now from here, I'm going to flatten the layers because I'm going to turn it into a sepia tone. Layer, flatten. Open your actions and click sepia tone. And then flatten again. And then I'm going to add a little Diffuse Glow. No grain on this. Um, just a little glow. Somewhere around 13. OK. And then I'm going to go up to Edit the glow that I just put on it because I want a hard light. So I'm going to 
click the hard light and you can adjust that from here also whether you don't want it quite as hard okay now I'm going to add the border click on the border layer drag it over and use your up and down arrow keys to fine tune it and then double click the layer to change the color okay you can also do other things in here like bevel and emboss just play around with them okay that's it and for our last one I've made a copy of the background because I'm going to put the background on top of the subject for a different look so my subject in this case is an 8 by 10 and my background is a 10 by 8 which is okay Let's grab your magic wand tool go up to select inverse move tool move the subject over to the new background and then from here I want to go up to edit and free transform because I want to rotate the subject okay so here I'm going to take the same background I'm going to put it over her and then grab your eraser tool make sure your opacity is set about 20 and you want your brush as large as it can go and your hardness down all the way and then you're going to just start erasing over the subject this will leave the pattern of the background in front of the subject I need to move that layer down just a little to line up with the back layer and then go back to the eraser it's just an entire different look erasing a little more on the face and now I'm going to add the border you can either grab the border and move it up or use your arrow keys okay and then double click that layer in the layers box to change the color if you want I like that okay click OK and that's our last one